This is Gary Gaiman with the Dominate the Day podcast. The purpose of this podcast is to help you get 1% better in your business, provide clarity, and give you some ideas that will help you grow your business. If you're ready to dominate the day, let's go. Dominate the day. That's what we're about to do. If you don't want to dominate, then this podcast ain't for you. But if you are, then keep listening. Because every single damn day, the mission is, it's to dominate. You already know. We're here to dominate the day. So if you want to dominate every day, then let's go. It's time to grow. This is another episode of Dominate the Day. We're in this series, Five Ways to Stand Out from Your Competition. One thing that all business owners strive to do is create this brand. Create a brand that people recognize for whatever service it is you provide. So if I say Amazon, you think that's where I can get literally everything. Literally everything. Like That's what Amazon has created. But 26 plus years ago, Amazon was a place where you got books. And it, we were all scratching our heads because... We had libraries and we had bookstores and there were some behemoth bookstores. Uh, Joseph, Joseph, Fabe, or, uh, Joseph Beth Booksellers, huge, huge. There's one other one that's Barnes and Noble. How could I forget about freaking Barnes and Noble, right? Like they were the, they set the standard. That's where you went to get books. That's where you went to get magazines. You even could buy some music. Why the heck do we need Amazon to deliver books? to our house and then mid early 2000s they started to expand a little bit and they started to include some other things besides books and then by the uh 2012s 2013s they started offering this prime delivery and prime meant you got your shit within two days you had to pay 100 bucks a year I think that's up to now like 150 a year, but you had to pay 100 bucks a year for Prime for two days, and now Prime doesn't necessarily get you two days. Sometimes it gets you a day, sometimes two days, sometimes a week, sometimes whenever the fuck it comes. But Amazon created this need, and now the first thing most people think when they go to buy some something, I wonder if Amazon has it. Literally everything. The only thing I don't think you can buy on Amazon is things like a pet, maybe a car, maybe a house. But I'm sure that's going to fucking change really, really soon. But Jeff Bezos, the creator, founder, entrepreneur that started Amazon, says that your brand is what other people say about you when you're not in the room. That's the brand message. So you need to be creating a brand that signifies what it is you're trying to accomplish in your market. You're trying to be the best. You're trying to provide the fastest, quickest, easiest service. You're trying to be the premier provider. I get business owners that come to me all the time and say, I want to be the premier premium provider of, of the service in my market. And then I look at their website, and it doesn't scream premium. It screams cheap. So you got to change that message. you got to change the message. So you want to stand out from your competition. Make sure your message is geared to what it is you're trying to accomplish in your market. As Jeff Bezos says, your brand is what other people say about you when you're not in the room. Make sure people are saying the things about your brand that equate to what it is you're trying to accomplish, what you're trying to do in your marketplace so you can dominate the day. Dominate the day, that's what we're about to do If you don't want to dominate, then this podcast ain't for you But if you are, then keep listening Cause every single damn day, the mission is It's to dominate, you already know We're here to dominate the day So if you want to dominate every day Then let's go, it's time to grow This is another episode of Dominate the Day